Hi, I'm Ellen and I'm the Interpretation Manager at the MAC, and today for our behind the scenes video, we are with Freya Liggett, our history curator, who will be explaining to us a little bit about the process of designing an exhibit, particularly when you are stuck at home. Take it away, Freya. It's really fun to look back and think about how um, curating exhibits has changed um, over the over the, the years that I've been doing it. I, I curated my first show in 2005, and uh, since then uh, I've, I've worked on probably somewhere between 80 to 100 different exhibitions, uh, either coordinating uh, with artists or um, uh, uh, curating long or curating long term shows uh, for museums uh, or temporary ones, or um, helping guest uh, curators uh, work with uh, my collections. And um, I remember starting uh, back in the day uh, that a lot of my ideas just were things I cut out of magazines or. Um, uh, little sketches, so you know, very much uh, a little a little diary that I always had uh, had with me, and that's uh, something that, of course, I, I do digitally now. Um, and uh, I, I think that that's it's kind of fun to see how the technology has uh, actually really sped up that process. I, I find that curating an exhibition um, ten years ago. <sighs> required required a much different timeline than it does today not to say that it uh, it has sped it up significantly but I think it has allowed um, me at least to focus my attention in areas that 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 really benefit the most from my time so if I'm not spending as much time uh, working on the design of exhibit I can focus that on um, on the research end of it or um, uh, making sure that uh, you know there's there's great marketing for it, or um, just exploring all the different connections that, that that can be made, and and giving the exhibit a life uh, beyond the walls of the gallery space. 